All right, good morning, guys. Today is Friday, July 9th. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. No issues with the um, uh, smells, <laughs> with the odors. I did a little test, and it's kind of funny. I brought our coffee pot down here. My wife, you know, like, like I've said, is kind of struggling with some uh, just uh, really highly sensitive uh, smell of a lot of different things. But uh, I did some painting, uh, no issues, and then I brought our coffee pot down here because she, she hates the smell of coffee. Even though she likes coffee, it's really weird, right? Um, but she hates the, that strong smell of the coffee pot in the morning. And so I'm not a big coffee drinker, but every once in a while I'll have some coffee. We have some coffee pot. So anyways, I brought the coffee pot down here, put it behind the curtain, so to say, and, uh, and brewed up a, a pretty good batch, and she didn't smell a thing. So, um, you know, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so we're going to, we're going to keep running with it. Hopefully, um, hopefully no issues and we'll continue to, to, to pump out the cars and, and make good success. There are some paints that definitely affect her more than others. Uh, uh, a couple of the, uh, the color, you know, the silver, the gold, uh, the high performance yellow I already mentioned definitely has a massive odor and, uh, and, and. You know that's a that's a problem. I'm probably gonna need to use those sparingly when she's not home or something like that, or um, maybe even do it outside. So we'll have to see. But anyways, I am working this 2020 uh, number 54 Kyle Busch um, sm Starburst. I almost said Smart Burst Starburst Duos. And uh, so this is the one that had the background removed. So I'll be working that here today. And I wanted to show you and kind of go over this one that I made that uh, I used the decal set that Mr. MB sent to me. So this will be yours, Mr. MB. But it didn't have the background removed. And so uh, I tried to match the color as best as I can, as you can see. Um, it's a pretty good match. You can see maybe the gap there between uh, the, the decal. Let me get something to point with. between the decal here and there's there's a gap there down to the to the yellow paint exposed and then the side decal but with with this car I was always going to be concerned about how this front end would turn out how the hood decal would line up with the side decal and the nose decal and all in all it lined up pretty good I'm pretty happy with this um, I put this on first this on second I did trim out uh, this piece here, there's a little section that goes here next to the headlight. That was part of the nose decal. You can see that there, that, that piece right there. And uh, lay that on separately. Um, but yeah, that, that turned out pretty well. And you can see, you know, the blue lines up with the blue pretty good. And yeah, um, I did cut out, there's a little part of the S there uh, that I cut out separately and laid there. So yeah I'm pretty happy with it now it's not perfect right this side you can see there's like a I don't know it comes together but it's not consistent through there this side piece had to go low in order for it to line up and the Goodyear is you know just barely on the die cast body there whereas on this side you know it's kinda high up so I think what happened was maybe I got this hood piece a little far to the right just a little and you know any little you know millimeter to the right or left is going to set it off so um, I just need to be a little bit more careful next time maybe um, maybe what I need to do is is put put this piece in first or put put these pieces like this and let me just pick it up here um, maybe put like this piece and this piece and this piece kind of get them wet all at the same time and lay them all together at the same time to make sure that I get it all where it needs to go but yeah I'm pretty happy with it um, the nose is a pain like most noses that are you know a full wrap nose across there but you know it worked and the, the one couple things you can see I had to cut this apart uh, this here was coming down and it was not going to be 
low enough you know this piece was going to be up here which is not good so I had to trim that off and the reason being is that this rowdy name has to be up here right it has to be up this far and so you can see the separation here and of course same thing from the other side um, I'm gonna put some coats of clear sealer on this thing and trim around these windows uh, hopefully that will make that look a little bit nicer uh, than that um, you can see a little bit of the the paint screw up that I had here underneath the decal but it's not too bad uh, I will be painting this spoiler black the roof lines black so yeah the sides don't line up uh, the side light with this rear light uh, the way that that turned out um, was not lining up so a little bit better on that side but unfortunately it doesn't line up there I, I don't know why the decal set doesn't have uh, Kyle Bush's name here but it doesn't, so just a shortcoming, uh, disappointing one to be honest. So, but yeah, all in all, um, I would say it turned out pretty good. Not perfect, of course, but I am uh, happy with how it turned out given what I have to work with. Uh, I do expect these that are uh, that don't have the background, um, these uh, the two that I'm doing one for Stefan, one for Mr. Mr. Uh, these will uh, come out better, you know, because I can position this where I want to. Um, I can position, um, you know, um, you know, a lot of different things, that, you know, where I want to, like, like, you know, just the names and uh, signatures, things like that. I can just drop them exactly where I want to. Um, so I can lay these across the bottom, you know, where they need to be with no gaps, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. I'll be working that here to date. Um, let's see. So what I have next on my um, uh, lineup here, uh, a couple Kurt Busch monsters, one for Chris, one for Sedaris. Uh, I've got a request from uh, Colton for uh, uh, a number 38 John Hunter Nemechek, Death Wish Coffee. Uh, so I'll be making one for him, and then I'll probably, you know, uh, put one up here on YouTube uh, for sale. Um, uh, Joey, there's uh, there's the number 32 um, Terry Labonte last ride that I'll be making for you, 2014. And then I have the a couple of the Advent Health one for Chris, and then uh, one I'll probably put up here on YouTube. Just so you know, uh, the the last couple of YouTube cars I did. Um, one guy wanted them both um, and he was the first to respond to both of them so um, if you guys are wanting to be on top of my videos to try to get in front of somebody else you might want to turn on that notification bell um, I, I don't know if I've ever encouraged you guys to do that before but that will at least give you um, a notice when I post a video and um, yeah if you guys see me working it you know when you see me building this car if you're interested in it and if you're interested in one of these advent health cars uh, I will also be um, uh, making this car and and uh, putting that up there a, a, a Wallace uh, car so um, yeah th that that notification bell might be your ticket to um, being one of the first to respond uh, to um, uh, to get a chance to buy one of the cars. Um, last thing I'll say in this video, well, no, I have two things. eBay is really frustrating me. Really frustrating me. Um, if you guys want to send me a message, I highly recommend, <coughs> excuse me, highly recommend you either post a comment below on one of my videos or shoot me an email. Um, don't message me through eBay for whatever reason I, I showed you in a couple videos ago I couldn't respond because oh you, you've responded to too many messages you, you know wait 24 hours before I did not go into my eBay account for two days straight and then I went in and I went to respond to a message and I got that same uh, notification and it would not let me respond to Stefan in France um, so very frustrating uh, with eBay 
Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Um, then thirdly, or maybe not thirdly, secondly, I can't count the day. Uh, <clears throat> shipping costs have gone up. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, uh, shipping costs have gone up. Uh, if my math is correct, about 8%. Uh, just within the last couple of weeks, and I, and um, and the other thing that's interesting is if I ship a box, it's going to cost me more. And maybe this is just for overseas or out of the country. But if I ship a box, even though the box may be small, the box is going to cost me more to ship it than if I ship the little cars in the bubble mailers that I normally do. Um, so, yeah, and I, and the bubble mailers that I ship, I usually try to, I usually can fit three cars in there, so that, that's another reason why I like to, um, keep orders down to like two or three at the most, because the shipping costs are that much less if I can fit two or three cars in a bubble mailer and get them out the door, it's going to be a little bit less than if I ship them in a box, but whatever, Costs are going up. I mean, I don't know if you guys are, you know, noticing it. If you guys do a budget and you track your expenses. But inflation is real right now. And uh, it's pretty frustrating, to be honest with you. Because, I, I mean, I try to keep my costs low as I try to sell cars to you guys and stuff. Because, you know, it, to me it's unreasonable with these extra fees and, and shipping charges. But, I don't know, it's the world we live in. Um, I hate to, to have to raise my prices, but um, I haven't yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to that point. It's a, it's a pain point, a pressure point. So, uh, anyways, that's what's going on, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, trust in the Lord. He is good. Uh, as the song says, God is good. Uh, God is always good. So, um, hope you have a blessed day, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Take care.